Hello, students. Um, hey, guys, today we're going to be, this is going to be video two, uh, topic 11 with the subtraction. Um, so yesterday you did the number line with adding on. Well, today we're going to be doing another strategy with the number line that you can do is counting back. So it's going to be just a little bit different. Um, and some of you may find, you know, you can decide which strategy works best for you when you're working a problem. So we're going to start with 354 minus 232. So when we're counting back, it's a little bit different in that we're going to start with our larger number and then we're going to actually count back, take away this 232. So on this one, then we're going to start at the far end of our number line and then we're going to count back so we're going to go backwards so so we're going to take away 232 so let's break that 232 into the expanded form so we've got two hundreds plus three tens which is 30 and two ones okay so we can actually subtract that now you can break them apart too um, you know, whatever works best for you, depending upon the problem. All right, so we're starting at 354, and remember, we're going back, so we're subtracting instead of adding, like what we were doing yesterday. So, um, so first of all, we're going to subtract 200. Now, if you need to subtract 100 and then 100, you can do that. That works just fine. So either way, you're going to get the same answer. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 200. So think about this, guys. We're taking away 200s from 300s. So we're going to have 154. Our 10s and 1s stays the same. Okay? So now we've taken our 200 away. Now we're going to take away 30. So we have 5 10s, so we're going to take away 3 10s. So I'm going to, once again, we're going to jump backwards 30. So I'm going to take away 30. So five tens minus three tens would be two tens. So we're going to have 124. All right, so now we have our ones left. We need to take away two ones. So we're going to just take away two. 124, so we have four ones. Take away two ones, so that would be 122. So in this case, where last time when we were adding on, we had to add up our jumps to find our answer. Well, in this case, we're starting with our largest number, and then we're taking away, there's our 232 that we just subtracted, and this is going to be our answer, which is our difference. So our answer is 122. Okay, all right, we're going to do one more. Um, so, boys and girls, depending upon these type of problems, when you're working your problems um, where they don't give you a number line, you can still use this strategy. You can either use either one, adding on or counting back. Um, so we're going to do one more. Uh, so we're going to do, this one's going to be 492, get that nine, um, minus 200. 28. Okay. All right. So once again, let me draw my number line. And guys, make sure you're doing your, your work on notebook paper, unless it's in the workbook page. Um, because some of this we will not be doing online for a little while. You're going to be doing workbook pages that I'll give you to practice. Okay. Um, all right. So once again, we're going to be counting back. We're practicing the strategy of counting back with our number line. So we're going to start now, once again, with our higher number, our largest number, 492, and we're going to take away 228. So once again, let's break that down into um, expanded form. We have 200 plus 20 plus 8. Okay, so we're going to start out with our hundreds. So we're going to take away 200. Remember, don't forget to put your minus 
Um, that way we'll know whether you're adding or subtracting because we're going the opposite direction. We're going back. So if I had take away 200 from 492, that will be 292. So we're just having to look at our hundreds place there. Okay, so now we've taken away the 200. Now we're gonna take away 20. So we've got two tens and we have nine tens in 292. So I'm gonna take away 20, two tens. So if I take nine tens and I take away two tens, I'm going to have seven tens. My hundreds and my ones stay the same, okay? All right, so now we're gonna take away eight ones. Mm. Well, if I look at this number, that's not the easiest to take away eight ones. So what you need to do is let's break apart that eight to make it easier for us to take away. So um, first of all, when I look at this, we're trying to get a friendly number. Remember those friendly numbers, the ones that end in a zero? So I think what we're gonna do is let's take away two now, you may do it a little bit different. It's okay. Remember, there's different ways of breaking down the numbers. So I'm going to take away two. So I'm, then I get 270. Now, when you look at this, I've taken away two of the eight. So I've got to take away six more. Now, I can break that up however I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and take away the whole six. But if you wanted to break apart and do five and then one, you could, that would be very easy to do. Sometimes taking away fives is easier than taking away six. But what I want you to think about is when we're taking away six from 70, really, because if we think about that, think about our sums of 10. Think about what makes a 10. So if I take away, I know six plus four is giving me 10. So that's going to be, that's going to be 200 and 64 because four plus six is going to give me that 10 which is going to make that 70. so our answer our difference is going to be i'm going to erase this 264. okay so when we look at let's look back at our problem real quick so when we look at this our jumps is going to be the number we're subtracting. So there's 222 plus six will be eight. So 228. And we're starting with our largest number and then we end up with our answer, which is our difference. And in this case, it was 264. All right, so boys and girls, be very careful on your number line. Remember, when you're breaking them apart, break it apart to make it easier. That's the whole point in this. Um, and so what we'll be doing next in our um, subtraction is we're going to be doing a partial subtraction. So like we did with partial sums. And then we're going to be doing, I'm going to do actually some algorithm with you. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.